What's up? Congrats. Oh, Thank you. Uh, Mike, when did you get word that you were coming up? Uh, right after the game yesterday, uh, my manager called me into the office and gave me the news. Where were you guys? Uh, Pensacola. So we were on the road. So you got here how? Flew here this morning? How yeah, I flew here at 6.30. Didn't get much sleep, but just glad to be here. How, how excited are you? are you? Did you think it might be this soon, or did you think it would be a little, little later? Honestly, I didn't think it would be this soon, but... I mean, anything can happen, and obviously it happens. So uh, it's just a great feeling being here, and it's like really numb to me right now. Michael Paul Bird, first of all, congratulations. Who was your first call? Uh, thank you. And um, who was my first call? Uh, I think it was my parents. I think I put them in a call together and just randomly asked, like, could they ask, pick me up from the airport? And they were like kind of confused. Uh, yeah, so I did that, called a few other people, and then tried to get as much rest as I could. Going up close by, what was it like walking in the clubhouse? Uh, it was just a real feeling. Actually seeing my jersey up in the locker, uh, my last name on it. And just being in the lineup today, it was definitely a very surreal feeling. You look at I mean, I don't know if I can actually answer that, but I just feel like if you go out and give 100%, 10% every day and not really focus on results, just have, go out there and have fun, a lot of good things can happen for you. How important was 2020? That's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, I feel like I got a lot better in 2020, actually, without the season, uh, going to the alternate site in Gwinnett, just facing all the big league talent there and uh, actually building a routine, getting to see how they, how they have routines that work for them and make them successful. Mike, <coughs> did your parents end up picking you up from the airport? Yes, my dad did. And then he dropped you off at the ballpark, or how'd that? Yeah, he dropped me off. Did it feel like travel ball again? <laughs> yeah, he was just following me around the whole day, and uh, it was really, it was really nice feeling because he's so excited. He doesn't know what to do for real. So he actually didn't go to work. He couldn't go to sleep either. So it was a good feeling. So he came. He's here with you, <coughs> walking around. Here yeah, he just left. What did he say when you left? It was like. Have a good game, son. <laughs> Actually, we just walked separate ways. We didn't even say anything to each other. So, do you know how many, who all is going to be here tonight? Or today? Um, my mom, dad, sister, aunt, girlfriend, and I have a few friends coming. Mike, when you were growing up, obviously a Braves fan, I'm sure you kind of, and then we're in the organization, I'm sure you kind of had a vision of what this day or what this moment <coughs> might be like. Do you think it matched, you know, getting the call, being up here, walking in, did it match kind of how you thought it would go when Thank you, you first thought about the moment? Uh, no, nothing can really match the uh, moment of actually being here. You can always dream about it, but actually being here, I don't think anything tops it at all. Kind of building on that, you know, being from the area, growing up, watching this team, being a fan of this team, what are your early memories of the Atlanta Braves and favorite players and, and things that kind of, on a day like this, you could think a little bit about as you walk in and put on this uniform for the first time? Uh, early memories, I remember when Jason Hayward first came up, <clears throat> and in his first game, he had a home run. Uh, so him being from the same area that I live in now, that was a, that was a big moment, and getting a lot of comparisons to him when I was younger. Uh, it makes me feel confident about myself and feel like I can have a successful career like him, like he has. And I feel like Tibber Jones was one of my favorite players growing up, and Andrew Jones. And I watched a lot of Braves baseball, so 
I know a lot about the about the organization and the success they've had. When Taylor did that homer, you were about nine to ten years old. Is baseball your favorite sport at that time, and did he maybe <clears throat> influence your love for the game? Yeah, baseball has always been my favorite. Uh, I played the other ones, but I, ne I never really, like, had the same drive to play them like I play baseball. But, but just to think that the guy that you know, get down the street, Jason, yeah. is doing that, that's got to just say, hey, I, I can be just like him. Is that, is that kind of how you went to the yeah. next year? That's exactly how it went. Uh, and then, as I grew up, like I said, people would compare me to him and say I, re they, I remind them of him. So uh, it really opened my eyes and uh, gave me a lot of confidence. Michael, you, you were a closer in high school too, right? Starter. Starter, okay. Yeah. And clocked at, what, low 90s? Yeah, low 90s, top 93. So obviously arm strength is one of the pluses. What is there anything left? Uh, I know scouts think you have a, a plus power tool as well. Is that do you think uh, your line drive swing will eventually translate to more home runs? Is that the way you look at it? Uh, yeah, I've been working on some things with my hitting coaches, uh, trying to get more balls in the air. I feel like it's been happening this year, and it's just a slow process. It's not going to happen immediately, but. In the future, I feel like it'll definitely be like that. Seems like the base run is really coming along too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always work on working on every aspect of my game when I can. How, how, what's it going to be like playing against uh, playing alongside Ronald Acuna going forward? It's going to be fun. I'm really excited to see uh, how that goes. Just really, really, uh, really excited to be here and have fun with the the guys. How do you want it? Texas Tech, you get junior, getting ready for the draft, or playing the Big 12 10 tournament. There you are in the big leagues. Is there any conversation after you guys drafted it where you're like, I can't think, I don't, I don't even know why I was even thinking about going to college route? Um, my first option was always to be drafted. Uh, if anything went wrong, so went sideways, I would go to school. And obviously, I think it went in my favor, me in the third round in Atlanta, so close to home. Uh, I feel like it was definitely a good decision to take it, and I wouldn't think I would be in the position I am now if I was in college. Uh, so it's, it's been really great. Mike, I think back to a couple weeks ago in Chattanooga, just how loose you were before a game. You feel like you'll be that loose and having fun today, or it will feel a little different? Back uh, hopefully I can get there. Um, I really want to. I try to. I uh, haven't had much rest, so I'm a bit, a bit drowsy, but I'm going to get there. Sounds like you got a head cold or a little bit? You got allergies? A little bit, a little bit, yeah. No big deal, though, huh? No, no. What guys have been here to, to greet you? Is anybody here yet? Did anybody there to welcome you? Pretty much most of the guys have been in, in there and uh, congratulating me and just ready to go out there and play with them. Have you gotten pretty close with anybody in two years spring training? I know he's played with a lot of these guys in the minors too. Is there anybody particularly that you're close with on this team already? Not necessarily close, but I mean, I've had a few conversations with guys about routines and mm -hmm. the way of baseball, you know, certain things to do and you know, not to do. Any final ones, guys? All right. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, man. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.